Good morning YouTube, half seven started this morning to be here to detail this tractor all day today. Sunday morning, should have been lying in bed. One thing I do know is that this tractor is extremely dirty and I can't wait to get stuck into it. I have been wanting to clean something this dirty for a little while and I finally got my wish. The tractor is bigger than me. So let's go have a look around it and get stuck into it. I'm gonna be here a while today. We have no chance of getting the tractor into the unit. So all outside work today and it's quite a nice day for it. Uh, maybe it's cause I got up early this morning. I don't know, but um, yeah. It's quite a nice day. I have got this car to finish. I've got the front window to tint on it. So I'll do that first and then I'll go outside and do the tractor. Everything's gonna be outside today. I think Abigail is gonna possibly come down and help me later on. We'll see how we get on, but it should be good fun. And I have been dying for a dirty, dirty vehicle. Didn't think I would get a tractor, but we'll work with what we've got. And I'm really, really excited to show you what we're doing today. So for comparison, I am as tall as the wheel. Just slightly taller, I think, than it. The inside is also dirty. So I think maybe it's locked. I don't know. I don't even know how to open it. And uh, I'm probably gonna have to move it as well. So that's gonna be fun, trying to figure out how to start this thing and how to actually drive it. And yes, you guessed it, it does smell like cows. I don't think there's much point in me pretending I know what this is. I know it's a John Deere 6320. It's probably not how you say it, I don't know. Got some new stickers put on as well, so I've been taking those off. I'll get a wee look around it first, and then maybe we'll get into it. from the owner to cut this off because it's just in the way and it's never going to be fixed. It's always going to be broken. So I've had permission and I'm going to cut it off and try and cut it the best I can around the seams. So I've cut it off and it looks a whole lot better and then I can get in there more rather than having this random piece of fabric hanging about. I can get in better. I'm just going to start on the rest. If I'm just going to use some surfix, I'm going to move out of the way. We got so much room in here. I'm going to use a bit of surfix, give it a scrub with the bike brush, and then see what I can get out of it. I'm not going to be too fussy with the roof, but we'll see how we get on. Keeps getting my eyes, I'm gonna go and find some uh, safety goggles or something along those lines because they're all getting my eyes. Like I say, I'm not gonna be too fussy with the roof really. So as you can see, it's done a really, really good job. Um, I've done this side with just a cloth and some surfix. I'm gonna do the other side now. Uh, like I said, you can see the, the difference it's made already. Looks so much nicer and uh, aye, I'll go scrub it and then I'll be back. Okay, so roof is mostly done. I'm just going to give it another uh, We go with Surfix. Um, before anyone asks, I don't know what I diluted this at. I diluted it quite strong. 
because I knew it was going to be quite bad in here. So yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what my ratio was, but yeah, quite strong anyway. Try and get all the stir off. So as you can see, it looks a whole lot better already. Going to move on to the rest of the roof over in size and stuff. You can see the difference it's made already just from that. And uh, I, I'll go into that off camera and then I'll come back and show you what it's like. <laughs> oh, spray it. Oh, you're touching over your nails. Dirty bunch. Yeah. Wow! Surfix! Bump her off. <laughs> the Wumble Hammer. Uh. Oh my god, that's. Oh! Uh. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Oh, uh, 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 yeah, dirty brits. Hey, I might get my clean poly pocket. <laughs> no, I'm like spending Sunday with a fresh set of acrylics, uh, washing through cow shite in a John Deere. One bottle of Surfix used already. <laughs> Goodbye. I got all the size out of you, critter. When I'm up here, but you see her trying to get back into this tractor. The critter, here she comes. <laughs> Surfix battle number two. She's lost the top. <laughs> oh, take two. <laughs> she got stuck in the dirt, girl. Atta girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your head. <laughs> Mind your head. Fear the deer back again. Wee. Nothing. <laughs> What's your name? Again, some, there, some, yeah, some good butt. strong muscles there to get that to get ready for grass. <laughs> <laughs> to get ready for grass and then that ass. <laughs> Time for silage. Even <laughs> <laughs> though I was at home. Oh yeah, there they brudgy.
just like to take a second and to Vicky's video to say there is no room in a tractor for two people. It is not built for five foot seven people with long legs, Henry and Savicky. Uh, it's not built for small folk either. That I hope you all appreciate the camera angles because I have cramped for a week. <laughs> of the tractor, we are on to our third litre bottle of Surfix. today had to put this thing on because as you can see it was hitting me in the face really bad so I'll put my phone on charge or my camera on I was gonna put my camera onto the charge and then <laughs> I'll go and wash the water and I come back and get my camera uh, once it's charged a wee bit I'm going to apply a bit of the ceramic and graphene paste wax to the dash.
restraints, money restraints, you know, I have to obviously make money as well while I'm doing this. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go any further than I have already. Very satisfying job, this one. I don't know if I want to detail another tractor ever again, but we have done this and it has worked out really, really well. As always, let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.